So I'm just laying here tonight listening to Mark Adams. And, um, the bioweapons hitting home. A lot of people in my family have took the vaccine, just like a lot of everybody's family, I suppose. And the next term might down a little bit. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, June, early June, I guess. My sister moved back from Florida, and her daughter, my niece, who um, lives in Tennessee already, went, and we went up to help them finish moving in, and she didn't say at the time that she would just been vaccinated, but she started having really bad eye problems and her eye was just bugging her that weekend it was just so uncomfortable we kept thinking she had gotten something in her eye or she was getting like an infection in her eye and she we went we came back to tennessee on sunday from kentucky and she drove home um, and then she went to work the next morning, and the eye was still bothering her bad, so she went to, um, got an eye appointment, and she went there, took an eye appointment, and the eye doctor immediately was concerned enough to say, I'm sending you to a specialist right now, and said you have some really strange, like, pressure in the back of your eye, and you have, um, like, some inflammation, and so they sent her to the specialist, and the specialist, like, sent her straight to the hospital for an MRI. Um, so that all sounded really concerning for all that to happen within a matter of hours. Uh, she ended up being at UT, which is the University of Tennessee, for three days. They did a lot of testing. It's okay, puppy. It's just me. Pup's getting scared. It's okay. They did a lot of tests, and they, uh, one neurologist told her, actually it was like the lab technicians, who really overstepped their bounds, and told her that she has MS, uh, muscular sclerosis, multiple sclerosis. One of the two. I always get those mixed up. Muscular sclerosis. Just out of the blue. And. A neurologist. That she ended up seeing. A follow up said no. Absolutely not. You don't. Um, and I've just been thinking this whole time. I just. I wonder if she got the vaccine. I mean I hated to ask her. Some people don't want to talk about it, but I was just so curious, and so this has went on for over a month now, and then the other day, I was reading some stuff, and I saw this article, and sure enough, it was saying people who have taken the Pfizer vaccine, there is a rare occurrence of an eye inflammation disorder called uveitis, iritis, and, excuse me, as soon as I saw that name, I knew that that's what it was, 
when I texted her and I said, just curious, did you by any chance take the Pfizer vaccine? I just now happen to think about this. I'm probably going to get a strike on YouTube for talking about this. But, I mean, everything I'm telling is legit. Um, she writes me back. Yeah, I did. That's the one I got. And I was like, whoa. And I told her what I just found. And she just. So I can't, I asked, that was one of the very first things I wanted to know. But the no, doctors will want to talk, the doctors don't want to talk about that. They don't want to admit that it could be something like that. And so I gave her the name of America Frontline Doctors. I told her some vitamins that she needs to be taken her eyes still she still has the same problem with it that she's had all along not supposed to see a doctor again until December so that's what they do they just hang you on the line try to fill you full of chemicals so, now, I'm concerned about her. I'm concerned about her health. <gasps> Excuse me. I was laying here in this bed, not able to try to fall asleep. Just everything going through my head. Because I've actually got two more stories to tell you. But as soon as I get on here and start talking, I start yawning. So that's my niece, my firstborn niece. I love her so much, and i be very upset with something. She ends up having lasting problems over this. So then I found out on Wednesday last week that... Um, my cousin that I went to high school with, her mom and dad, all have been vaccinated and all have the thing again. Well, they didn't have it the first time. They just got vaccinated and now they have it. <sighs> so... My cousin, who is their daughter, the daughter, the one that's my age, is the one who is most sick. She had to be taken uh, to the hospital by 911 ambulance. She is now in the hospital in very bad condition. And she's already had the Jabaruski. So, there you go again, another negative outcome. Also, one of my really old friends who we don't we don't stay in contact now but I grew up with her our dads were best friends spent our whole childhood together she actually found out today she's got the thing and I don't know my mom didn't say whether she had the V-jab or not. I would say she probably did, but I can't swear to that. But I do know that her father, who was my father's best friend, is fully 
aware of what's going on and what we're dealing with. So, the Chinese bioweapon has finally made its way to my door. Well, not to my door, but to my locality, I guess you would say, with all of these issues of familiar people. I'm sorry, I'm just, the longer I talk, the sleepier I'm getting. But, I just wanted to share these stories. Mainly just hoping I can get it off my chest. Get it out of my head. Ask for prayers. Ask for good thoughts for my loved ones. And remind everyone that this time of persecution that we are entering is prophesied. We know what we must do. Fight the good fight. Myself.